hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to be answering a question that someone asked and i'm going to be reading that question out from my phone i'll also be dropping the question on the screen so you can read it for yourself as well so let me just read it out so i don't miss it she said please could you also share what causes people not to ovulate and what measures can be adopted i'm going to start by letting you know what no ovulation actually means i'm going to be using the term anovulation which is another word for no ovulation now what is anovulation anovulation is a common condition in which a woman doesn't ovulate it means that the ovaries do not release egg during a menstrual cycle and this makes it difficult for pregnancy to occur it is most frequently caused by hormonal imbalance and it is a common cause of female infertility so in this video i am going to be sharing with you some of the reasons why women may not be ovulating and their treatment one of the reasons why a woman might not be ovulating is if she has polycystic ovarian syndrome polycystic ovarian syndrome is an hormonal issue where you have fewer unusual or longer periods and this could be as a result of having too much of a male hormone known as androgen this is the most common cause of anovulation and female infertility women with this condition may end up having irregular ovulation or they may not ovulate at all polycystic ovarian syndrome is associated with insulin resistance obesity and sometimes high level of testosterone which causes abnormal air growth on the face and on the body note that this testosterone is a male sex hormone so women with this condition may find it really difficult to ovulate another reason why a woman might not be ovulating is if she has primary ovarian insufficiency also known as premature ovarian failure some people refer to it as premature menopause this occurs when a woman's ovary fails before she is 40 years of age this basically means that the ovaries stop working normally before she even turns 40. Naturally, many women experience reduced fertility when they're about 40 years, but for women with primary ovarian insufficiency, they start to get irregular period and decreased fertility before they even get to 40 years. And it's also caused by autoimmune diseases or premature loss of egg from the ovary, possibly as a result of genetic or chemotherapy or radiation therapy though the cause can still be natural some women with this condition still have occasional periods and studies have proven that five to ten percent of these women can still get pregnant and have a healthy pregnancy while others will have to go for treatment another reason why a woman might not be ovulating is menopause menopause is a naturally occurring decline in ovarian function that usually occur around the age of 50 but for some women it comes as early as 40. menopause is when a woman doesn't see a period in one year some women experience symptoms such as hot flashes mood changes and difficulty in sleeping so if you're above 40 and you've been trying to conceive it's not forthcoming go for checkup to be sure that your menopause has not come early because a woman who is on a menopause stage cannot ovulate the fourth reason why a woman might not be ovulating is hypothalamus or pituitary gland dysfunction the pituitary gland produces two hormones that are responsible for stimulating ovulation and these hormones are follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone when anything interferes with the normal functions of these hormones, it can affect ovulation. Now, what are those things that can affect or interfere with these hormones? We have excess physical or emotional stress, a very high or low body weight, or a recent substantial weight gain or weight loss. These are the things that can actually disrupt the production of these hormones. And the most common signs you will notice as a lady is irregular or absence of period. Another reason why a woman might not be ovulating is if she is experiencing diminished ovarian reserve. 
This is when you have fewer eggs left in your ovaries compared to that of your age mates. And this can make getting pregnant really difficult. The thing is, when a woman is giving birth to, they already have all the eggs they will ever produce, like all the eggs they will ever need in their lifetime is already there. Although it's normal that as the woman ages, the egg starts to decrease. But when it decreases or it reduces more than normal, it is known as diminished ovarian reserve. And this can make you not to ovulate normally or not at all. It doesn't mean that you can't get pregnant, but with this condition, it will be very difficult to get pregnant. So you might want to consider fertility treatment because women with this condition find it difficult to ovulate. Now let's talk about the treatment. The treatment of an ovulation will depend on what is actually causing it. For some women, simple lifestyle modification can be enough. For women struggling with obesity, high or low body max index, all you have to do is try as much as possible to maintain a healthy weight. Though it's not going to be easy, but it's worth giving a try. For those that this is due to excess exercise, please reduce your exercise as it will go a long way to help normalize your ovulation or probably bring it back if possible. For women with high amount of stress, please try and manage your stress. While for others that are not in these categories I just listed, you might need medical or even surgical treatment. Try and see your doctor, but there are several medications you can prescribe that will help normalize everything. So guys, this is where I come to the end of today's video. If you find this video informative, educating, please share me out to your YouTube communities. I see all of you that usually share this channel out. I want to say God bless you. Thank you so much for the love, your support. Ah, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? To all my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you for being family. I thank you for being here. Please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to drop a comment. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section. I'll be there waiting for you. If you have any topic you would want me to talk about, drop them in the comment section. I'll do justice to them. Thank you so much, fam. See you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>